Hey guys, this is Jacob Nelson Mercer. Accompanying me is Gary and Eaton and Evan Burnett. This is the story of how Japan <laughs> turned the world upside down in World War II. The Japanese Empire began their expansion of their empire in 1937 with the invasions of Manchuria, China. Although the, they, this threatened the U.S., it was not seen as a big enough attack for Americans to retaliate. However, for the next four years, the Japanese Empire continued to attack surrounding nations until December 7, 1941. This was a peaceful day in Honolulu, Hawaii, when just as people were waking up, Japan launched a surprise attack on the naval base. This attack either damaged or destroyed nearly 20 American ships and another 300 airplanes. There were nearly... 2,403 people killed after the attack, and another 1,000 people were wounded. This bombing, nearly 5,000 5, miles away from the capital, sparked an anger in American hearts across the nation, and as a result, was the start of the war for Americans, as well as the beginning of our engagements in the Central Pacific Theater. Our researchers have found footage of what happened during the attacks on Pearl Harbor. Hey guys, I'm in an airplane. Um, so I'm, I'm a Japanese soldier uh, tasked with bombing Pearl Harbor. Um, our General Ezeruku Yamamoto has planned this cool thing where we bomb Americans because they're bad and stinky. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was a big explosion. Wow. <laughs> Just six months after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, Japanese warships began approaching Midway out at the whole U.S. naval base that was used to launch planes and aerial attacks as well as dock naval ships to prepare for attack. Their plan, simple, to take over the base, their military force, and their increasingly large air force, Japan attacked the Midway Islands with four aircraft carriers, accompanied with many battleships and hundreds of their best pilots. As Japanese ships closed in on the islands, American outnumbered Navy redid re its defense to defend Midway against the, the the enormous Japanese fleet, the American Navy had only three aircraft carriers and 17 other ships, so they lose, so they lose for the defenders of Midway Island. However, with the sinking of all four Japanese aircraft carriers, Japan attacked to dwindle as they had no place to launch their attacks from from Japan. Uh, of this, American forces were able to force Japan into retreat. At the end of the battle, Japan had lost four aircraft carriers, 292 planes, and lost over 250,000 casualties, while the American Navy lost only one, only one of its three aircraft car carriers, 145 planes, and 370 soldiers. This battle was seen as the major turning point for Japan in World War II because without the occupation of Midway, Japan was not able to use Midway. This kept them from spreading their empire any further across the Pacific than it already had. On June 19, 1944, during an invasion of the Mariana Islands, Japanese warships intercepted American ships as an attempt to destroy their fleet before they were ready to attack. However, the United States troops were prepared and launched a counterattack. The battle, which was the last of five major carrier versus carrier fights between American and Japanese naval forces, lasted two entire days, ending on the 20th. It would become the largest carrier against carrier battle in history, involving 24 aircraft carriers deploying roughly 1,350 carrier-based aircrafts. In the end, the Allied forces, who were under the command of Raymond Bronze would be victorious against the Japanese Navy and their commander, Admiral Somu Toyota. 
whose fleet lay in ruin after the battle. Because of the United States' technological advancements in both their planes, weapons, and warships, as well as their extensive training and well-thought-out battle strategy, the Americans were victorious. This battle would be the end to Japan's intense naval campaigns due to the fact that the bulk of their ships were be, would be destroyed in the conflict. Here is newfound footage of a Japanese pilot in the Battle of the Philippine Sea. Hey guys, I, I'm another Japanese soldier. Today we're going to be shooting American planes in the Battle of the Philippine okay. Sea. Okay, we're approaching the destination. <gasps> Oh no, there's Americans. I have to shoot them. Oh, I got one. Oh no, the Americans are shooting at me. On August 6th, 1945, the U.S. shot the first atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. The bomb itself was made by the Manhattan Bomb Project. They made two atomic bombs. One was called the Small Boy and the other was called the Fat Man. The one that dropped on Hiroshima was called the Little Man, dropped by a B-29 aircraft which flew over the city itself and released the nuke. The bomb flew straight down into the city in Japan and was hit, but Japan refused to surrender, which made the U.S. use a second atomic bomb called the Fat Man. This would be the leading cause for Japan to sign the instrument of surrender only 15 days after the bombings because of all the death and damage that the U.S. created. They knew it would continue to happen if they didn't just give up, so that's when they decided to sign the treaty. Our researchers have found video of the plane that dropped the first atomic bomb over Hiroshima. People, people. Hello, this is Paul Tibbetts. I am piloting the Enola Gay. We are about to drop the bomb on Hiroshima. Zoom! Dropping the bomb. Boom! Wow, that was awesome, bro. Wow, they sure turned that one upside down. Japan sure was capping back then. After Japan totally beast mode all over the Pearl Harbor, the United States decided to clap back and get into the war. Yeah, the United States totally defended the island of Midway from the cringe Japan attack, turning the war for the Allied powers. Then the United States straight up did not allow Japan to conduct any more large-scale naval attacks after the Battle of the Philippine Sea. Last, the United States got super lit and nay nay Japan with two nuclear bombs. Ending the war. In America, from one slime ball to another, thank you for watching. <laughs>